I'm from Syracuse, New York, and I got my painting degree from Syracuse University. And I wanted to talk a little bit just about the power of painting. Um, when I was in back in years ago in school, and I first was going to museums, I went to the uh, Philadelphia Museum of Art, and I saw this giant painting by Ansem Kiefer called Negretto. It's a simple landscape of, of a field. It's, it's, it takes up an entire wall. The paint is probably like that thick on it with straw and probably tar and, and it's, it's, it's um, moody and dark. And he painted it after World War II um, and it was meant to be uh, like a burnt out field. And as I stood before that painting, I just felt the power of art. And that's why I became an artist. So painting is, um, can bring back memories. It can give you some certain mood. Um, it may be just um, the way a light is hitting a certain object that sparks the interest of a painter. Um, but it's something that sparks some sort of story and dialogue. And, and it doesn't have to be representational art. It can be non-representational. And in that way, the artist is just speaking through the layers of paint and the shapes and, and marks and such. But even with that, it tells some sort of story. And what do stories do? Stories make you feel something. They make you remember. They make you inquire. So when you look at this piece, all I want people to do is think about, does this bring you back to some place or memory? Do you get lost in the brushwork um, and in the process? And does it give you certain mood? All I want you to do is to enjoy the ride. This, this was from a time when I was in a, in a sunflower field with, with my friend. That's, that's my friend, Sherry. <laughs> and, um, you know, but it, I was thinking about her walking, walking away. And when you're in a, a field, everyone's attracted to sunflower fields. And usually it's, you know, because of the uh, large yellow sun-like, you know, orbs that are so attractive to us. But in this piece, I, I didn't want to concentrate on that part of it. I wanted to concentrate on the part that you're, you're walking through this, these giant, I mean, really, it's amazing that these flowers are so large and, and we're dwarfed in size to them. And maybe question, like, what, where is this figure going? You know, why is she walking away? And, and just, it just, um, you know, brings up, brings up any kind of memories that you have or, or questions for you to think about. All right, thank you everyone.